Well, at least you're not trying to overload. It's going to be bad enough making runs to each end of the, of the uh, fairgrounds today. Now, uh, you have an essay that we would like for you to read that determined who Eric Reach Prince was. And if you would be so kind as to read what your essay is to Eric Root this evening. Why 4-H Royals is important by Justin Moore. There are two main reasons why 4-H Royalty is important. One, the King, Queen, Junior Princess, and Junior Prince has a little, hands a little kid their ribbon and congratulates them. They, they think, hey, I want to be like them someday. I, I was like that last year. My friend was it two years ago. I saw him on the way to be fun. He said it was fun but hard work and it took dedication. That's one reason why it's important. Another reason is when pu the public has answers, the 4-H royalty should have the, the public has questions, the 4-H royalty should have answers. Most of the time, the public doesn't under know anything about farming. Most of them, most of the time, they don't even live on or near a farm. Sometimes their parents don't do that. My favorite question is, does the chocolate milk come from a brown cow? <laughs> and then you have to explain how it doesn't come from a brown cow. It may come from a black and white cow. How they add the chocolate syrup to make it burn. Well, in projects? Dairy, crafts, and... And you have crafts entered in the building this year? Yes. So it's been a busy fall for you too. I'm going with school and I'm sure you're involved in sports, soccer, <coughs> basketball. Now, would you please read your um, essay for the group this evening and why you'd like to do it? In my four years as a Frederick County 4-H member, I have seen how important the royalty program is to Frederick County and the surrounding community. One reason it is so important is the education. 4-H'ers can learn how to respond to questions about their projects, and younger 4-H'ers can learn from the experience of the older 4-H'ers. Non-4-H'ers and even adults can learn more about the program or maybe even join a club. Royalty also represents the 4-H pledge. Clearer thinking helps you make the right decisions. Greater loyalty gives you the support of others because they know that they can trust you. Larger service shows the public how to serve their family, community, church, or anything else. Better living means being active and healthy. As a dairy maid, younger kids have looked up to me and I have looked up to anyone else older. This teaches 4-H royalty to set a good example because they are representing a positive program. Yeah, the Great Frederick Fire Board of Managers would like to welcome each and every one of you here tonight. Uh, you know, we put a lot of time and so forth into the 4-H projects in, at the fair, and you can tell why. Uh, just look at these contestants up here tonight and the poise that they have. If I'd have had that kind of poise when I was their age, I don't know what would ever happen to me. But it is just great to see them get up there and stand and make their presentations. Uh, I used to be in the Utica Church, still am, but we used to say our pieces and I was about eight years old when I got up in front of the, on the stage and stood there and just looked out. My mother said, say your piece. I said, you say it. <laughs> she said, JR, I said, say your piece. I said, you say it. And about that time I did the best backflip you ever seen on the stage. And before I got on my feet, she had me and she had me out of the church. And I got the worst whipping that she ever gave me. But uh, I wasn't near as poised as these kids. I would have never done that. But you know, I've grown up uh, in the fair here with 4-H. I've been buying 4-H steers for I don't know how long. Uh, I've also been helped one of the 4-H members, the old time queen here. Kim was a 4-H member back. Uh, what year were you the queen? Just two years ago. 95, 96. 95, 96, and I was president of the fair board at that time also. But uh, Kim had steers, and she also had pigs, and 
uh, when they first got them, they needed some help training them to lead and so forth. They had me out there doing that. But I just like the, uh, it was just amazing the amount of work that the 4 H's put into all their projects. I mean, especially the steers. And I, I always remember that it was a great, uh, it was a great honor for me to participate with her. And that was back, she started, I mean, started working with her probably in the 80s, but I told her, if I was on the fair board then, if I ever became president, and she became the queen, I was gonna give her a kiss, smack her up here on the stage, and she became the queen the same time as I was president. I went to a lot of different 4-H meetings, and just being able to see um, the passion that these young 4-Hers have, um, it just continues to amaze me, and it's just been an awesome run. I know you had a lot of meals. What's the best meal you had? <laughs> the farm beer dinner? That was awesome. Without further ado, let's crown our king and queen. The 2009-2010 Frederick County 4-H king is... Jonathan Stevens. President, you're the president, right? Yeah. How do you think things went this evening? Very good. And you're looking forward to a great fair this year? Yes, sir. <laughs> so far, the weather's great. Is it going to be this nice all, all fair? I hope so, but I doubt it will be. <laughs> okay, so we We've better had get some beautiful weather for the fair. So we, so we better get out while the while the weather's good. I'm going to Michael. 